I'm Dr Duncan McPherson, I'm the Clinical Director of Devices at Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency. My leadership roles are being in the Senior Management Team of the Devices Division at MHRA. We're a division of about a hundred people and we're responsible for regulating medical devices in the United Kingdom. I was a consultant anaesthetist in the NHS uh, before I joined the Civil Service. While I have leadership roles in both of those, they have uh, some differences. In my first only eight months as an SCS leader, I've learned an awful lot of things about how to gain satisfaction from a career that has a markedly different way of recognising achievement. So in an operating theatre, you have a task for a day, you finish the task and there's an immediate feedback that the patient's had a great operation. Whereas now I spend my time working with my team to get them to do tasks that work for a long period of time and then only several months later do we get some feedback that we've actually done a good job. Uh, both are equally satisfying but it does require a change in your immediate mode of thinking to be able to cope with that. I found a range of resources um, very helpful in coming into the senior civil service. The dedicated induction uh, was really helpful because it covered some of the intuitive knowledge that people who have worked in the civil service for a long time already have that we don't. Um, but also it introduced me to some, a range of people who are doing the same thing. Um, the uh, immersive series Ebola event that I attended was also very helpful because I have an intrinsic belief that all things health are kind of sorted out by you know, the Department of Health, by my guys being the doctors. But the reality was that an awful lot of the decisions and work was, was done by uh, all sorts of parts of the civil service. Sir Liam Donaldson's had a great impact on me as a SCS leader. Uh, when I was still a junior doctor, he created a, a scheme to try and identify junior doctors who had the potential to do these sorts of jobs. Um, and I was lucky enough to be selected for that scheme. It was him who really cemented the idea for me that you don't have to be in a hospital and injecting medicine to people every day to be a doctor. Sir Liam is a person who I also found a lot of similarities with personally because he's a person who um, is very quiet and thoughtful but also manages to be very assertive and achieve a lot. The traits that people need to be successful leaders in the civil service I think are to remember always what your motivations and values are and to stick to those. You know, for me, I know that uh, I'm committed to improving people's health. I can then learn whatever tasks I need to do in whatever role I have in order to achieve that underlying goal.